Well, how sweet it is. Our guest chef is sharing a lot of sweet goodies and maybe even a few secrets behind the art of baking. Joining us in our CI kitchen, it's Honey Bunny Bakes. Owner and founder Mary Enright is hanging out with us. We are so excited to have you. I'm super excited to be here. Well, let's talk Honey Bunny Bakes okay. and how you got started in the cookie cake decorating business. Honestly, it was a fluke. It was one of those things where I was probably wasting time on social media. I found this girl's Instagram in Texas and she just like sucked me in. She has all these different videos of her process in doing the cookie decorating. And I think she has like a hundred different videos. I was literally like neglecting my family for like two <laughs> days, like just watching over and over again. Like it was fascinating. And so I was like really into this and then by total coincidence, a couple weeks later, a girlfriend of mine on Facebook was asking, does anyone know where I can get decorated sugar cookies for a baby shower? And I messaged her and I said, okay, so I've never actually done this before, but if you'll give me a shot, I'll just charge you for ingredients. And she gave me a shot. So wow. I did that, took some pictures, put them up. People were very supportive and other people asked me to do things and it just kind of snowballed from there. So yeah, I've been very, very lucky. I've had a great support system. So Well, when you think about cookies and cakes and decorating them, like we're looking here at your cakes, I mean, not only is the decorating part an art, basically, but you've also got to have a good cake or cookie yes. underneath. Yes. So what, what was that process like coming up with your own like recipe? Oh, it was horrible. No, <laughs> I mean, I, my family loves it. It's just, you know, it's a little bit of trial and error, but honestly, I think my MO is, you know, just add a little bit of extra sugar, a little bit of extra vanilla. Just, you know, kind of go hog wild and yeah. just make it something that we would really enjoy. Um, I, again, have kind of lucked out. I, my first or second time making my cookie base, I was halfway through the recipe and I realized I was missing a key ingredient. And my mother-in-law had given me this book for Christmas that was like kitchen hack, like swap things out. So really quickly I looked something up and there was a swap for my missing ingredient. And so I tried it, it worked, everyone went crazy for it. So now it's my secret ingredient. Ooh. And I mean, beautiful things happen when you make mistakes. So right? it's just, and you know, what's the worst thing that happens if something doesn't work you have to eat yeah. a subpar cake <laughs> my family you know like oh the sacrifice worst things can happen yeah okay well um we'll talk a little bit more about your custom cakes yes. and, and cookies and all of that but you're going to teach us the art of marbling yes this so, is one of my favorite techniques yeah. okay you have to stay over there and i'll okay. be over here working okay. but i'm a good I, I can follow directions very well so kind of tell me what we're doing okay so um what we're going to do is we have two different color uh royal icings. Oh, you can find a royal icing recipe pretty much anywhere on the internet. The key to this is to have a pretty thin consistency. If you uh, can see, it's pretty runny. You're going to want that for both the white and whatever color you choose to use. So okay. go ahead and take your color and just sort of plop it into your white. It really doesn't matter. Oh, okay. I was about to put it on the cookie. Nope. Just plop it right into the white. Okay. And then we're going to take one of these little stick things, this little hot, I gave you the hot pink one because you seem like a hot pink kind of gal. Girl, and, you know me. <laughs> and then go ahead and swirl the, um, the color throughout, kind of like they do like at the coffee shop. Make yeah. it nice and pretty. Okay, so once you have it sort of all swirled, you're going to take your cookie and then you're just going to plop it face down right on top. Okay. And then tap it around, make sure you get some really good contact. And then you're going to pick it up and sort of shake it. Get that excess off. There's a little bit of a flick action that kind of has to happen. And just sort of shake it out. Shake it like it's hot. Shake it. Well, okay. So I also do, I, <laughs> before COVID, I would do um, cookie decorating classes. And I told a lady one time to sort of like shake it one time. And this poor woman started shaking it like it was like an aerosol can. And <laughs> it went fine. It was, um, it was one of my favorite moments actually from cookie well, decorating. But. That is so Fun. And yes. now next time, would you add another plop of pink if you want a different design or do you just keep it, keep going? I would just keep going until kind of eventually you will sort of get more white than you'll have whatever color you're using. And then you just sort of go like you add a little bit more. It's honestly, it's pretty much foolproof. You really nice. cannot screw it up. And then the ones I brought in, I like to get a little fancy. And so I have some, uh, some edible paint. 
that Ooh. I took with a paintbrush and I go hog wild at home and just sort of yeah. get some aggression out and lick it. Yes. <laughs> okay, we're going to um, have you stick around. Okay. We'll decorate some more cookies. Cool. In the meantime, you can connect with Mary and Honey Bunny Bakes. There's her Facebook page and Instagram. Sneak um, peek. She has a fun giveaway going on on her Facebook page, so you might want to go check it out. We'll um, connect you at sayliving.tv.